Right. I've got the pole set at 57 using the extender. And my poles were quite a short, I think they're about 125, so I've had to make my own extender. So, anyhow. So that's it. Set and just go around and give it a little nip. They are quite so as you can see it is quite firm already. A big vent up here. But fiddly to get this it's a better design really for for closing the door yep, so inside we have to what I've been used to acres of room acres but uh, there's no inner at the moment Right, so we're all set up with the shelter MLD Mountain Laurel Design Duo Mid. I've gone for the Duo Mid because I can put a single person in it in and still have area for uh, putting my rucksack, loads of room than what I'm used to. I'm, obviously, I've had the land shans and stuff. So, with all one person shelters I've got a very limited bit of room so I thought I'll give this a try and I ordered it from Mountain Laurel Design direct from America and uh, the only problem was it took 12 weeks big waiting order um, but I was in no rush I ordered it in February and it just come the other week so I have been out in it I did a, a camp the other day um, unfortunately I set my pole at the wrong height, it was far too low. I think I was about three inches shy of what I should have been. So I've made some adjustments. Got a longer extension piece in. Ideally, you'd want a pole that can actually, I think it's 57 inches it goes up to. But uh, yeah, there's acres of room in here for me. It sits quite well. As you've seen, peg it out four corners, pull up, bump doesn't take long but uh, let's get the inner put up inner I went for I got from Aliexpress and it seems to fit quite well so I can use the existing mitten hooks on the ends one either end and then I've just put a peg at these corners and then I just tie this up up there and then I peg the bottom down so I'll bring you back I can also use <laughs> I'll put a bit of bungee cord just between there and it's the same on this side, if I can get it into difficulty, they're one handed. Yep, and that's the inner all set up. I've got a T zip, but as you can see, there is absolutely loads of room. So, yeah, just a single skin, a yeah, single skin, single person. But you can open these two doors up which I'll do yeah so having both doors open you know 
just gives you loads of room, loads of room, especially on a glorious day like today. So yeah, I've, I've used it, had all my gear in, had my bag down this end, cooking stuff up this end, and uh, you know, it was good. So I need a few more runs out just to give a proper verdict on it, but so far, I'm pleased. Probably, I'm probably five to eight years too late from when this was released, I believe. Uh, so, anyhow, just what I was looking for. Mine is the uh, the Sin Nylon version, the uh, the DCF, which I would have liked, but that's uh, it's a lot of money. And there's nothing going on the second-hand market at the moment. You can't get any. I've been looking so. I went for this option, you know, with, with the Sin Nylon and this, I think this is a winter inner that I went for, so it's, I could possibly use this in the winter. Can't see why not. I have seen um, plenty on YouTube that have used these in winter conditions and they've survived okay. I think if you just drop the pole, maybe a couple of inches, keep it lower to the ground, obviously you've got less ventilation, but then you've less chance of any, you know, snow, really bad weather blown from underneath, but as it is now, as a pitch, I think it's 57 inches, so I think I'd have about 55 inches, drop it two inches, it'll uh, yeah, be closer to the ground. Right, anyhow, that's it. Just a quick look through, and we'll see you out sometime soon.